If you're facing the Apple Mobile device, no driver found error and iTunes isn't recognizing your iPhone. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. In this video, I'll show you how to download and update the Apple Mobile device USB driver on Windows. Plus, if you're still stuck, I will show you how to fix your iPhone in one click. Let's get started. First, let's tackle a common question. Can you download driver directly from Apple? Unfortunately, no. Apple doesn't offer this driver for direct download. If you search online, you might find some third-party websites offering it. But those aren't official and could be risky. It may also paralyze your iTunes, freeze it, and make your backed up data completely lost, and your phone cannot be upgraded or reset normally. So let's take a look at how to get the USB driver. We have two ways to do this. Method 1. Update drivers via Device Manager. If you installed iTunes from the Microsoft Store, here's how you can update the drivers. You need to unplug your iPhone or iPad from your computer and then reconnect it. Ensure that iTunes is closed and open the Device Manager by searching for it on your PC. Locate Apple iPhone under Portable Devices. Right-click on it and select Update Driver. From there, choose Search automatically for updated driver software. Once the update is complete, restart iTunes and it should now recognize your device. Method 2. Reinstall drivers using the IN file if you downloaded iTunes directly from Apple, try this method. First, unplug your device and plug it back in. Ensure iTunes is running. Tap Windows plus R to open the Run dialog here. Then paste this code here. I will also leave it in the description. After this, right-click on this USB Appel 64 and select Install. After this, iTunes should detect your device without any issues. But due to some reason, these files will not be able to show up, or iTunes will not be able to process. If you're still having trouble, and your phone is stuck in recovery mode, or you want an easier solution, you can use Re-iBoot to exit it in one click, repair your phone without data loss, or restore your phone. Not only can Re-iBoot enter and exit recovery mode instantly, but it can also resolve over 150 iOS issues. If you want to exit recovery mode in one click, just click the exit button here. Then your phone will return to normal within seconds. If you want to fix your phone without data loss, just use the system repair feature. Choose standard repair to avoid data loss and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the process. It may take about six to eight minutes to repair. After the repair is completed, your iPhone should be fixed and out of recovery mode, and all your data will still be intact. If you need to restore your iPhone or want to fix more complex issues, you can also use Rayboot to do a deep repair. Your phone will be fully recovered and restored to factory settings. That's it for today's tutorial. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Don't forget to check out the description for a special discount on Tenorshare Rayboot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.